Welcome to our fourth lesson of Roller Skating 101. In today's class, we will learn how to skate backwards. We will start learning how to march backwards. Then we will go over some tips for correct posture. And finally, we will practice some exercises to learn how to do bubbles and a T-push backwards. Let's start with the basics, how to march backwards. When we skate backwards, we stand in a reversed V position. Your toes should be together and your heels apart, maintaining the pressure in the front inner wheel of the skate. Start lifting your feet one by one, maintaining this V position and moving backwards. Maintaining the reversed V position and keeping the pressure in the inner front wheel of the skate will help you to control excessive rolling. It is very important to look up, extend your arms and engage your abdomen so you can control your body and not lose balance. To skate backwards, you need to maintain a very good posture. Imagine that there is a line that connects the top of your head, your shoulder, your hip and your ankle. Lean in front or back are two very common mistakes. So try to keep your body axis in the center. Engage your core, extend your arms and bend your knees. Let's practice now some exercises to learn to do back bubbles. Starting from a reversed V position, we're gonna slide our feet back and front. Open your legs and return. Open, return. When you do this exercise, you have to maintain the pressure in the inner front wheel of the skate. This will be the first part of the bubble, so now let's check the second part of the bubble. From a normal V position, we're gonna slide our feet front and back. Open your feet and close your feet and maintain the pressure in the back inner wheel. Now let's put everything together. So bend your knees, core engaged, arm to the side, open, middle, close. Reset the V position. Inner front wheel pressure, slide, center, back inner wheel pressure. One more time. Press your big toe, press your inner heel. Now we will learn how to do a T-push backwards. We start with the back T position. Put your feet together in a 90 degree angle, joining the front of your skates. Slide the back skate back and front, maintaining the front leg in place. The back leg should be bended and the front leg should be stretched. Keep sliding your foot back and front, maintaining your weight on the back leg. This exercise is not easy, but something that helps is to keep your weight on the back leg while maintaining pressure in the inner front wheel of the front leg. Don't forget to practice this exercise with the other leg as well. So here you can see it from another angle. Keep your back knee bended and the front leg straight. I know this exercise is difficult, but if you keep your core engaged at all times, you will be able to control your feet better. Now let's see this exercise from another angle. As you can see, I keep my back leg bended and the front leg straight. And I keep my weight on the back. The pressure on the front inner wheel of the front leg is also very important because this will help you to learn how to stroke backwards. Let's learn now how to do half bubbles backwards. 
Starting from a reverse T position, slide the back foot backwards and then slide the front foot doing a small half circle. Rejoin your feet in a parallel position and then reset to a T position. Start another half bubble sliding the back foot and then rejoining the front foot doing a small half circle. It is very important to transfer all your weight to the back leg and keep it bent. You also have to keep pressure in the inner front wheel of the front leg. After practicing this exercise with each leg, now we're gonna do it changing legs. As you can see, this exercise requires for you to transfer your weight from one leg to the other. After each half bubble, don't forget to reset in a T position. Keep your weight on the sliding back leg and maintain that knee bent. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you with your backwards roller skating skills. It is very important to start with these exercises from the beginning so you develop evenly. I often see skaters that can skate very well forward but not backwards, so it is very important that you start with this early on. You can join our roller skating community in Budapest if you want. We have group practices which you can join for adults and for kids. Let me know how it went in the comments.